Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to model a cozy little holiday hearth. 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 I think that's the right word. I'm going to make a fireplace with a mantle over top. That's what I'm modeling. It's going to be cozy. Hearth. I don't know. Ever see a word or say a word and it just doesn't catch your hearth? It's not coming off my tongue right. But we're going to model that. We're going to model a hearth fireplace mantle combo thing <laughs> right now. All right, I'm not doing this off of any uh, reference image. I'm just going to kind of just model a thing and we'll, we'll see where it goes. Uh, I'm going to start with a rectangle like this, put it on the ground and pull it up. That's going to be the body of our hearth. I'm going to use three here as just kind of a, a size check, sanity check here. That looks pretty good. I'm going to rough out some shapes right now. I'm going to come up here, maybe about this tall, I'm going to pull that out to give me a little bit of a, a footing at the bottom. I like that. Um, I think I'm going to do a rectangle, uh, a rectangular fireplace opening about like that. I just put that in arbitrary, but I can align it by going and finding the middle point of that rectangle, holding down shift, and then finding the middle point of my mass on the outside. Boom. That's now perfect. Like that. Okay. Leave it like that. Um, let's see. We'll grab this rectangle right here and I'm going to say option, bring it down like that. And then I'm going to pull it out, each of these faces out that much. Again, I'm just kind of throwing numbers in. I like that. Okay. That's my, that's my preliminary shape. I love it. I think that's cool. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more break up here because I may have a separate material. So I'm going to pull this out just a teeny bit like that. And then I'll do the same thing over here again, because I just, uh, if I double click, it'll just pull out the exact same amount and I can just clean up any additional edges if I get, okay, there, that's, that's what I'm looking for. All right. Um, let's add some stuff to this to make it look, but I mean, right now it's, it's, it's kind of nice, but let's get some materials on here. So I'm going to go into view, uh, face style and we're going to do photo real materials. And I'm going to start with brick on here. So I'm going to go to, uh, B and then we're going to go to brick. And there's a handful of brick materials already in here that come come with, oh, wow, that, I don't like to brag on myself, but but uh, that's a perfect height. Look at that. That's just right. Um, I like that. That is a nice brick. I'll try this one over here. See, that's a little, what? No, I don't like that. No, nope. that looks too outside. That's boring. Yeah, that's like a patio brick. Ooh, ooh. All right, I'm torn now. I like both of these. I'm gonna go with this one. This one looks cool. I like the different brick sizes. I like that that's assorted different sizes, that kind of thing. Very, very nice. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple things. So I kind of threw my geometry in here just kind of willy-nilly. I don't know if you picked up on that. So I'm gonna adjust some geometry now to align to the bricks. So you can see down here, we got this breaking right here. So I'm just gonna grab the bottom and pull it up like that. So it hits on a mortar line rather than a brick. Same thing here, I'm gonna push pull this up. And I love how this happens to fall upon the bricks turned the other direction. See that? That's super cool. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these extra edges right here. And I'm gonna grab all of this as one piece. And I'm gonna pull it down vertically again until it hits that grout line, mortar line instead. Oh, yes, 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 yes. B, pick this, put it on the side here, put it on the side here. Um, looks pretty good. Looks like it's wrapped around. This, this side doesn't look as good. Something's a little off here. Uh, it looks like it's a little high. So I'm going to right click, texture, and hit position. And I'm just going to drag it down a little bit so it connects up a little better like that. There we go. Oops. Yeah, that's it. That's better. Okay, um, let's keep going. Let's, uh, let's do the inside. So I know we'll, uh, we'll do something like this. I'm going to go put a rectangle right here, we'll grab that. And this is, a little, this is a little bonus detail on the inside. I'm just make a little, little Santa Claus entrance area here. So I'll grab this like that, and I'll take that, and we'll move it vertically. There we go. Yes, one, two, three, seven, okay. All right, so I'm gonna put brick on some of these pieces. Uh, put it here, that lines up nice. Put it here, here. That looks cool. This stuff I'll just paint black. So I'm just gonna go in here, 
grab my absolute to the black color like that. Okay. So I'm gonna spin around, look on the inside, put my pop my head inside. Yes, there we go. All right. So there, that looks good. Um, let's uh, before we go any further. No, let's do a couple more things. All right. I said I liked how these popped out, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna come over here to this. I'm gonna come up to here. I'll take this over like this. Drop it down here, here. And I'm gonna pull that out a little bit because I think that looks cool. A little bit proud there, a little bit. That's a little too much. That's a little too, I got greedy. All right, give me a little bit more, a little, a little ledge there. That's kind of cool. I like it, I like it a lot. Um, I'm gonna look at my environments real quick. Um, I'm out in the city. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't seem to be right. Let's, uh, let's try to find something that looks a little more, ooh. That's not interior, but I do like the warmth of that one. Here's what it would look like if we were in an empty warehouse. That's not cozy. Um, so I might not actually pick, sometimes the sky domes here don't represent what you want, right? I don't want this to be in the middle of a field. If that's the case, so all we're looking for is the glow, then I'm gonna go to edit, and I'm gonna turn off use environment as sky dome, and now when I go to select, all I have, there we go. Oh, let's turn back on, wait, what? Oh, that's me. Oh, it's saved in each one, yeah. So what I wanna look at right now is actually just the light. How does the light come in? How is that? That's nice and warm. I like that a lot, I like that. Okay, so I like that one, and I'm gonna say edit. Don't use the sky dome, just give me the light. I can still do things, like if I come here to select, or, or I can go to uh, set sun location, which will allow me to change where the light hits this and how, how it hits it. There we go, so we get like, there we go, straight on, nice and warm. If you wanna come over from the side a little bit more, we can do that. Yeah, let's see how that how that material interacts with that light. That looks really cool. All right, let's keep going. Let's get uh, let's put some brick on the ground. I'm gonna try the same brick. I'm gonna see what happens if I grab that and I just drop that on. Grab this, put that on here. Eh, it's okay. Actually, no, I kind of like that. I do like it. All right, I'm gonna drop it on the sides too. It's pretty tall now. Let's uh, that's it's two bricks tall. What if we do one? You know what? I think I like two better. I'm gonna, and again, I, I was kind of just arbitrary with my sizes, but look at that. That lined up pretty good with two. Uh, it is going the wrong direction on the side. I don't have a end grain brick detail, so it's going to look a little off right there. But uh, for right now, for just being cozy, which is what we're doing, we're focusing on the cozy. Uh, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to put some nice wood up here. So I'm going to go to B. Go back here, let's go look at some wood textures. Now, a lot of the wood textures that come with SketchUp, the default materials, they look nice for things like floor, oh, flooring, uh, that sort of thing. Some of these look like, you know, that looks like a laminate, uh, nothing wrong with laminate, it's just not the look I'm going for. The closest thing I see right here is this one right here, I like this, this is cool. Um, it's not right right now, but look at the grain in here, it looks like real wood, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Say texture position, and uh, I'm gonna make sure I have my fixed pins. I'm gonna turn it this direction. So my grain's going across this piece. And then, yeah, there we go. I wanna, I wanna line it so my screws, see the screws on there? I don't wanna screw on there. I wanna get get just like that. Enter. Yes. I'm gonna sample that, put that here. Here. I'm just gonna throw it up here just for a second. Um, that looks pretty nice. I like that a lot. I don't like the color though. I think I want something a little bit just different. I want something, let's see, let's go uh, edit this wood planks. So we make it lighter. Maybe just I need a little more warmth to it. Because we're going for cozy, you know, so I got to cozy this. That looks better in that light. I like that a lot. Um, the other thing I can do is I can, you know, play with my texture, my materials. So if I want it to be rougher, smoother, I could play with that a little bit. I could try inverting, see how that changes my materials. Um, something else you can do is you can turn on metalness. Not that we'd want this to be real reflective, but sometimes uh, it will give you that little bit of a shine on a material that, uh, you know, that shows it's like, it's it's sealed, it's, it's urethane or something like that. Um, so 
probably wouldn't have something, I don't want anything to be metal necessarily, but uh, that looks kind of cool. All right, it's looking good. Let's get some cozy going. Uh, let's get some fire in here. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna use the 3D Warehouse for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop up to 3D Warehouse. And I'm gonna put fireplace logs and see what I come up with. Cause I know there's some cool stuff up here. This, this one right here looks awesome. Let me look at it. I love it. Downloading it, placing it. It's almost the perfect size too. That's, that's gotta mean something to someone somewhere. All right, I wanna get it centered. So I'm gonna grab the middle of the leg right here. And I'm gonna start by relying it right here to the middle of this front. There's the middle. And then we can slide it back in. Oh, yeah, I like that. That is cozy. Um, that looks great. Uh, it does look a little weird with this. Uh, I got my fire components here, which are really, they're neat. They're half see-through, but they got these sharp edges on the outside. So let's, let's change that. Let's go ahead and grab, I'm gonna do a select all, right click, select only edges. And then we're just gonna turn them off. Unfortunately, I thought these were components, but they're not. So I would have to do this for uh, each of these. Which, you know, um, I think we spend a lot of time when we model trying to do things as fast as possible. Every once in a while, maybe we just gotta learn to like slow down and enjoy the clicky. Or maybe this is the sort of situation where I, as a video editor, should probably just, uh, yeah, fast forward through the whole thing. Now it doesn't matter now because I'm done. There we go. All right, there we go. That's a good looking hearth. Um, at this point too, if we wanted to, we, oh, I don't like this though. This, this guy's sticking out too far. Stick in here, delete that one. All right, there we go. I don't know what that is, but uh, that's the Yule log, I don't know. But there we go, got a, a healthy little fireplace, cozy little fireplace, uh, quick and easy modeling using standard textures, 3D warehouse, uh, pretty quick and we were able to throw that all together. It's ready for some stockings or some festive materials of some sort or other to be placed on here and uh, celebrate your holidays by making them, like I said, cozy. Sometimes you just gotta get in model by feel. We do a lot of modeling where we use reference images or even uh, dimensioned images or, or plans. Every once in a while though, I just gotta feel a thing, you know? And sometimes you gotta do that. You're just gonna make a model that fits the need based on not specific dimensions or anything like that. It's totally possible that this could be taken then and, and if I wanted to actually build this thing, I could adjust it to real life dimensions, uh, but for right now, I think that looks pretty good. And I think I got to say that uh, Sri looks pretty comfy sitting by that fire. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you have a, I don't remember exactly when this has come out, but hopefully whenever it is, you guys have a wonderful holiday season yourself. Uh, if you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Is there a specific model or something like this that you think would make a good video? Or is there a different topic or an extension or a workflow? Or what would you like to see in these videos? Tell us in the comments down below because we like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.